Welcome to a review lesson on the addition and subtraction of fractions and mixed numbers. The main thing to remember when adding or subtracting fractions is we must obtain a common denominator. So looking at our first example, we have one-half plus one-third. Let's take a look at this model below before we follow the steps outlined here to find our sum. Notice here's a model for the fraction one-half and here's a model for the fraction one-third. To find this sum, or combine these two fractions, it's important that we combine pieces that are the same size. So notice how if we change the model for one-half into three-sixths, and we change the model for one-third to two-sixths, we now have pieces that are the same size, and you can see we have a total of five pieces, where each piece is one-sixth. And therefore, the sum of one-half and one-third, or three-sixths and two-sixths, is equal to five six. So by determining a common denominator, we're adding pieces of the same size. So now following our steps above, notice how the first step is to rewrite mixed numbers and whole numbers as improper fractions, which doesn't apply here because both fractions are proper fractions. Step two, we find a common denominator, which is a least common multiple of two and three, which would be six. Step three, we write the fractions as equivalent fractions with the common denominator. So for the fraction one-half, to write this with a common denominator of six, we notice how we multiply the numerator and denominator by three, plus for one-third, we'd multiply the numerator and denominator by two. Notice how this would give us the sum three-six plus two-six, and now that we have a common denominator, we add or subtract the numerators, and the denominator stays the same. So three six plus two six, as we already know, is equal to five six. We always want to make sure that our answer is simplified, but five six does not simplify. Next we have eleven fifteenths minus five twelfths. Again, we don't have any mixed numbers or whole numbers, so step two we want to find a common denominator hopefully the least common denominator, the least common multiple of 12 and 15 is 60. Now step three, we write the fractions as equivalent fractions with our least common denominator. So for 11 fifteenths, we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by four, since 15 times four equals 60. And then for 5 twelfths, we'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by five, since 12 times five is equal to 60. So this would give us 44 sixtieths minus 25 sixtieths. And now we subtract our numerators. 44 minus 25 is equal to 19, and our denominator stays 60. And there are no common factors other than one between 19 and 60, and therefore this difference is in simplest form. Now I do want to make a point here that there's always less simplifying if we can find the least common denominator, but any common denominator would work. For example, if we could not find the least common multiple of 15 and 12, we could just use 15 times 12, or 180, as a common denominator. So I'd also like to show that. So we could write 11 fifteenths with the denominator of 180 by multiplying by 12 over 12, and we could write 5 twelfths with the denominator of 180 by multiplying by 15 over 15. So the first fraction would be 132 over 180, and then we'd have minus 75 over 180, and 132 minus 75 is equal to 57, and there's a common factor of three here, so this does simplify to 19 sixtieths. And of course, we can always check these on the graphing calculator. Let's go and check the second example. We can enter 11 fifteenths minus five twelfths. Enter. This gives us a decimal approximation. To get the fraction value, we press math, enter, enter, which does verify our difference is correct. Notice in example C, we have mixed numbers. So step one will convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So for four and three-fifths, we'd have a denominator of five, and the numerator is going to be five times four plus three, which is 23. 
and then we have minus for one and five, six, we'd have a denominator of six, and the numerator is going to be six times one plus five, which is equal to 11. And now we want to find a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of five and six, which is 30. So we're going to write equivalent fractions with denominators of 30. So for 23 fifths, we'll multiply by six over six, and for 11 six, we'll multiply by five over five. So 23 times six is equal to 138, and 11 times five is equal to 55. So our denominator stays 30, and the numerator is going to be 138 minus 55, which is equal to 83. So while this is our difference, and it is simplified, let's also write it as a mixed number. So to convert to a mixed number, we'd have 83 divided by 30. There are two 30s in 83, two times 30 is 60. And notice here we have a remainder of 23. So we can also express our difference as two and 23 thirtieths. And then for D, we'll write two as an improper fraction, so that'd be two over one minus eight fifths. Notice here our common denominator is going to be five, so we'll multiply two over one by five over five. So this would give us ten fifths minus eight fifths. Denominator stays five, and the numerator is going to be ten minus eight, which is equal to two. And again, two fifths does not simplify. I hope you found this helpful.